We're spending the morning at Freedom House in Green Bay. Yeah, Emily Deem joins us live to explain what's going on there. Hi, Em. Hey, good morning, Rachel and Pete. Hi, everybody. So we are in the current resource center at Freedom House. This is a place where residents use. They, they build up their resume. Uh, they take classes down here. But the problem is when you walk in, it's not very inspiring. It's, it's pretty kind of just a little dull in here, would you say, Amber? A little bit, yes. It does have that stale feeling um, from the white walls to the white tables to the old, outdated computer. So this renovation project is going to make the residents feel more welcome as they come in to work on all the things they need to work on. Yeah, Amber Yonke here with me, volunteer coordinator. This room is going to get a complete makeover starting in May. And right now they're just in the fundraising stages for it. But we want to show you a few things that they're going to be changing and taking out. This used to be a nursing home, is that right? Correct. It was a nursing home, and we've been in this building since 2004. So some of the things that were in here for the nursing home just never got taken out and updated. And what's next to you right here that really has no use? That would be an intercom that was used when it was a nursing home that they no longer work anymore and we have no use for them. So by ripping things like this out, we can use the space more effectively. And look at back over there, a sink that is really not working? Nope. You're not using it? Nope. There's no running water with it whatsoever. So just never had the means to gut it out. And you've had a lot of people donate stuff. You see that um, overhead projector right there? Who, who uses that anymore? Technology is changing, so you need to keep up with that, right? Absolutely, especially when it comes to doing things like job searching. Um, we need to have these tools for our families here if we're requiring them to do those things. And someone actually donated a TV, a 60-inch TV, is that right? Yep, with the Leadership Green Bay Project, they have a donor that took care of the um, flat screen TV that will allow our volunteer instructors to do some, you know, projecting or putting up PowerPoints, anything like that, they'll be able to utilize it. Leadership Green Bay really jump-started this project and really wanted it to happen. Katie is over here with me with some of her members, a part of this group. Um, let's talk about the fundraising donations. They need more than $8,000. They're halfway there. How can people help? Well, you can. We do have a first giving page that you can check out. Also, um, donations can be made at any Johnson Bank location. Uh, we also do have a Facebook page. Uh, it's under Project Hand Up. Go check us out there and find out what you can do to help us out. And we're going to put all that information online. You already had a fundraiser that raised hundreds of dollars, but also great items for people out here. So, I mean, look at Rachel and Pete. New floor is what they're hoping for, which is already donated by H.J. Martin. How great is that? They need new laptops. I mean, they only have two chairs for three computers that they have out here. Anything really helps. And another nice thing, a new paint job. Look at this wall. They really need some updates. It's going to start in May. Go to our website to learn about how you can help. We'll send it back to you. Good deal. Thanks, Thanks Em. Em.